On November 30th, ChatGPT was released to the public, and within five days, it reached 1 million signups. For comparison, it took Facebook 10 months to reach that same number. But it's blown up for good reason, because it's clearly providing insane value to people. Which brings into question the importance of Google, when you can just ask ChatGPT and be provided a relevant, concise answer in seconds. Now, I wish I could say that introduction was written by ChatGPT, but still, this AI's capabilities are insane. It can write a poem about Eminem, give me dating advice in Japanese, and even write code. But these are just the things I can think of. YouTuber Ali Abdal secretly had AI write him a Twitter thread that became one of his highest performing tweets of all time. And another YouTuber made a whole website and blog almost completely from AI code with little contribution on his part. So how does ChatGPT work? I asked it to explain in the simplest of terms possible. And it said, imagine that ChatGPT is like a very smart friend who knows a lot about a lot of different topics. When you ask ChatGPT a question or give it a prompt, it uses its brain to try and understand what you're asking and come up with a response. To do this, ChatGPT looks at the words you've used and tries to understand the context and meaning of your message. It then uses the information to predict the most likely next word or words in your message and generates a response based on that prediction. So most chatbots have a pre-programmed response, but ChatGPT collects a bunch of data from the internet and then after being trained with a bunch of languages and texts, it's able to generate a human-like response. And OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, did a similar thing with its image generator. Dolly. So if I ask it to create an expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking depicted as an explosion of a nebula, then that's what I'll get. There are some limitations and problems with AI though. The information it's trained on can include bias or errors, which limits its accuracy. And when MKBHD asked it what the fastest sea mammal on earth is, it said the peregrine falcon, which is obviously false. ChatGPT also has no common sense, meaning it's trained to communicate like a human, but it may not be able to understand or respond appropriately to certain types of questions or situations. For example, a YouTuber named Adrian Tuareg was able to convince ChatGPT that 9 plus 10 equals 20. But when I tried this, it was sure the answer was 19, so it must have learned from this mistake since this happened. And the last problem is that the data that OpenAI uses to train ChatGPT and Dolly may cause potential concerns around data privacy and security, considering where this information that AI is trained on is coming from. In other words, AI can steal work without consent or giving credit. Lenza AI is a new app that has gained popularity for its ability to generate artificial images of users' faces in different styles. However, some users have noticed the presence of artists' signatures in these images, which suggests that Linza is using the work of other artists to create these images, which raises ethical concerns about whether this is right or wrong. Now, obviously, this space is still pretty new, and all these problems will be dealt with, but AI will continue to improve over time, which makes me wonder what AI will look like in the future. There's a lot of fear of people's jobs being replaced, which I think is a valid potential, but right now, I believe ChatGPT and other AI platforms are merely just tools to increase efficiency, quality, and output. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in informative content like this ChatGPT video, or if you want to see more story-like videos like this one on Eric.